Okay, well, in this section, we'll see how to set up notification for your backend service. And what do I mean by that? Actually, if you go ahead and try to place an order, like right now, I'm trying to do. So add to cart. And then most probably I can go back and add more items from here as well. And then I'll have six of them. And I'm going to choose cash and delivery. And I'm going to check out right away. All right, and here it says that back home and you see you heard a noise a sound actually so this is the sound now if you have a new order actually it makes a, a bell sound like ding dong and then it pops up in the page where uh, it shows the order detail order ID user ID order amount payment status otherwise from where this has been placed okay and this is actually the user's location like that so this is the place uh, and this is what it shows up now most of the work has been done but since this is a notification and the notification works so the firebase notification you have to set it up now to be able to set up first you need to come to your firebase of course you have to make sure that you have a firebase project and I mean firebase project here you have to create one and after that you have to connect your app iOS Android uh, well these two apps that I already have so you have to create apps for them that's the first thing and of course I'm not going to cover that how to do this one is creating apps is straightforward and then you have to come to your project settings because here we'll just focus on how to get the background notification now over here you will have to have this I guess this is called service accounts come here and then we are doing using JS so we'll download the SDK for JS so go ahead and click on this and uh, it will have to generate a new pair of key and once you have done that one the first thing you need to do over here you need to drag and drop and where, where do you drag and drop so the file that you have downloaded from there you have to drag and drop inside your uh, root the project root like in my case so I'm in the project root and then this is the file that I have downloaded okay just put it here okay so that's the first thing and the second you still have to come to your app folder and find notification controller this one like uh, this one we have worked with this before and inside this you have to find the function which is called send token this one so over here you need to replace the downloaded file you have to replace this one with the downloaded file the JSON file that you have downloaded so this is a JSON file the one that downloaded just to replace that that's the first one and second you have to get your database URI and how to get this one in general this URI is your project name and then of course you have to have firebase io.com so this is your project name or ID and then you have to tag your firebase io.com now most of the time it is here so if you come to your general sections it should be this project name okay and after that at the end you have to have this dot to have this dot firebase io.com make sure you have HTTPS now the same settings also has to be in this case send message okay exactly the same the same way you go ahead and do that and then you are good to go and once you are able to set this up you would get background notification if someone places order like just now I placed an order and we just saw it okay all right thank you